Hi everyone, it's me, Lee, with Victorian Dreams. See, it's me. Okay, so can you believe it? I'm now on my own property. We're not renting anymore. And um, I'm in my uh, studio, not the one that Johnny's going to build me, but the temporary one. And um, and I have a project share. And actually, I think I'm going to um, show you tips on how to make this if you have this um, die set. So, yeah, it's me. So, hi. <laughs> okay, so I want to show you. I bought Anna Griffin's Valentine Easel die um, set to make cards. And I've made a few. So, I'm going to show you my cards. And then at the end, if you want to stay, then um, I'll show you how to put it together real quick. And I know I need to work on my lighting. I just, this is my first video in here. So um, I'll do that this week. So um, there's the card. There's a lot of space to write whatever you want. And it folds up very nicely. This is authentic paper that I used, and then I also used Anna Griffin's um, sticker, sticker Valentine's. So there's one. I have four, so there's one. <clears throat> Here is a yellow one, authentic. Isn't that pretty? You wouldn't think that yellow is Valentine's, but it is, isn't it? It's pretty. So there's that one. Here's another one. You know, just using Anna's little stickers just pops it and makes it very um, easy to do. There's that one. And one more. Can you see? Isn't that pretty? And there's that. So, there you go. All right, so um, if you want to stick around with me, we'll take five more minutes, and I'll show you the uh, little steps on how to do this and tricks and everything. Okay, so I use my Gemini by Crafter's Companion, and this is my board. And boy, you can see that it's getting all warped and everything, and I think tonight I'll take it in. Uh, boil hot water, put this in a pan, and then put my um, mixer, the KitchenAid mixer that's real heavy, and I'll put it in there for 24 hours, and that hot water will melt this all back together and make it straight again, because it's getting all warped and cracked and everything, and I did this about a year ago with this same piece, so anyway, so I get my plate, and for time management, I um, only run this twice. There is actually one, two, three, four, five pieces, but for time management, I go ahead and prep it. I always use a piece of tape, and this is um, face down, and I use a piece of tape because <clears throat> this is warped also, and things move on me. So I'm using the bottom plate, the plastic, the metal, no, the magnet, <coughs> and then the top plate. So let's run it through the Gemini. It makes a lot of scary noises, but it's only doing its job. Okay, take this off, and there it is, it's cut through, and let's peel that tape, I had it right in the center, so there's one piece, we won't need that anymore, we'll put it on our magnetic, we'll save this, because you can always use this, okay, so now let me rotate this, just try to save a little bit. And now we'll go ahead and put the other pieces on. So there is one of the pieces. And here is the other pieces all taped on and ready to go.
and this is almost finished. We really have to run this and we tape in two places and we're done. So let's sandwich it all back together. Plastic plate, the heavy plastic A, then the plastic, then the um, magnetic, and then the other heavy plastic. I think there are better words than that. I think they call it clear plate, the two. So it's clear plate, magnetic shim, plastic shim, the dye, the material that you're using, paper, and then the clear plate. So anyway, let's take this off and we're kind of done now. All we have to do is put it together. So let's just move this out of the way. <clears throat> so I tape it down because my, you can see that my um, pieces of, uh, are all crooked because of using it, the plastic shim. So I tape it down because it will move on you. And I'll show you that in just a second. Um, see right here, I was going to put it through and it moved and it only cut half. So I said, okay, I got to cut it again. Cut it again. Thank goodness it's only paper and everything. So it was no problem. So there's our pieces, and I'm putting everything back. Anna gives you a magnetic sheet to put everything on so it stays really nice and in its place and everything. So there's that piece. We're done with that, and we got to get one more. Got to get this one. This one makes a mess. And my husband, Johnny, I think everybody knows his name by now, he vacuumed for me yesterday, so now because he vacuumed, I feel like I gotta keep this place clean. <laughs> so there's the top piece. All right, let's glue it together. So there's our pieces. So you fold this and see if you noticed because this is double sided. Did you notice that it had that little bit of um, brownish purple rose roses for double sided? So if you're going to do double sided, you got to think about what's coming on the back because you will see it. There's a score right here. So we score. Um, there's a score line. So we fold it. Okay. I like to tape it without this being on here because if I put the tape here I may get tape on this back piece so let's just put the tape and I put like three pieces I like to have a generous, uh, generous amount okay and then what I do here is so that I'm not all lumpy trying to put it on here um, I go ahead and put this one on here first so um, let me put the tape on real fast. And this is the back side. It's um, cameo faces on the back side, but we won't see that. Whoops, I got one of the little pieces. But you want to make sure you're getting it all over everywhere. Okay. couple pieces didn't come out so I'm bumping them out now so of course it's going to be harder because I put tape on it but I want it to be right and I want to show you that it's just paper enjoy your process um, I haven't been able to craft very much in over a year so I think I got them all out I don't think I see any more pieces where I need to bump out. There's one more right here. But um, what I'm learning is 
I'm happy to enjoy the process of all of it, even though this is just paper or whatever. And um, enjoy your free time crafting. You know, it's just a craft. It's supposed to be your hobby. And so, you know, just enjoy it. And that's what I've tried to learn. So I centered that. And it's easier to center this piece, the ornate piece, on the main um, uh, piece right here. And it just makes it easier. So then all we do... See how this is bumpy because of the fold and this easel? So then all we do is we layer that V with this V and we kind of hold it there, but we're not taping down here because we want to make sure it looks good here. And I think it does. So press, press right there in the middle. Okay, the easel, come back here and press. Okay, so there's the hard part is over. And that wasn't hard at all, was it? So this is an extra piece that we can put right here. So if you want to use it, great. In this one right here, you can see a little bit of a heart. I actually had a die when I went and grabbed this authentic paper. I found the hearts that I used last year, and they were extra. And there's a, just a die heart. And I said, oh, well, I'll stick it right there. And then what I did was I cut this in half. And I stuck half on this side and half on that side. So, and then on this one, I just used the heart. And you can barely see just a little bit of the heart because the rose is covering it up. So, let's go ahead and tape this down. But you, whatever you have, add to it and make it your own. So, let's see. It goes... There's a, like it, it's, it's kind of right here in the middle. You can find it when you lay it on there where it goes and it matches. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. That just adds a little something. And then this right here is your stopper. And um, you could put different color stoppers. You can actually use what I'm using from uh, what I'm using is Anna Griffin's sticker Valentine's and see how she has um, the sentiments that says um, I, I adore you you could put that right there as your stopper you could use that or you can make your own stopper and this is the stopper so what I do is I have I don't know where I got this I think the expo and it's just um, foam tape and I cut it give me two more seconds and we're done so I put it down see now I'm rushing because I'm making a video you guys you know I try not to take your time if you remember I'm going to try to at least make two videos a week, something simple and easy, or whatever I'm crafting on. But with this um, foam tape, it seems very thin, so I did two to raise it to hold it good. So there's my second one. Just peel off the tape now and um, stick it down and we're done. So now let's just put that off to move that out of the way. Let's line this up as straight as we can. There we go. You can put a little rose right here, or um, you can write your sentiment. But there we go. We are actually done with that project. All I need to do is decorate it. But I will figure out how I want to decorate it um, when I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial real fast. I hope I gave you little hints about things. And it does fit in a card, and it's pretty flat. Look how flat. So you can mail this, and I don't even think um, you would have to add extra postage. But if <clears throat> if you did, I would only add, you know, two stamps. I, I wouldn't even weigh it. But I don't even think you would have to. So there, guys, there is my Valentine um, share of my cards that I've made. And, 
and everything. So um, hit the subscribe and hit that bell because you never know when I'm going to make a video. Um, caring is sharing. So hopefully everyone is having a great new year. Um, so caring and sharing is that means kind of share and glue gun chronicles my group i love seeing everyone's projects and so if you share your projects of what you're doing it just makes me feel so good and everyone loves to see it also all my links are down below of my glue gun chronicles group and my victorian dreams blog and pinterest and everything else and i'm wasting your time so i'm gonna get out of here bye guys have a blessed day